Concerns for safety after Memphis police confirmed this morning that they have found the body of runner Eliza Fletcher. It's a story of tragedy, but 10 News reporter Abby Coleman wants it to be a reminder for you to stay safe. She has four tips that you can adopt tonight. Eliza Fletcher was a 34 year old teacher who was abducted during a run in Memphis last week. She was found dead on Monday. The running community is gathering together in light of her death. James DeMarco, owner of Runabout Sports in Blacksburg, and Robin Lewis of Fleet Feet weighed in on the tragedy. Poor lady, she was just doing something she should enjoy, and it's something that gave her peace of mind and helped her to get on with her day. It really um, hits home with us. We personally know two women who have been um, attacked um, while running, and they were in broad daylight. Fortunately, they survived, but um, you just never know what could happen. This could have happened anywhere, but there are ways to stay safe while running. The thing is, you want to let your loved ones know where you're at, when are you running, where you're running at, and when to expect you back, and then follow through with that over you know the course of time. Apps can help family and friends keep track of your location. So you can push really one button on there that lets your loved ones know, let CMS police know that, hey, I got hurt or um, um, I, I'm being attacked or, or something's not right. Days are getting darker sooner and Lewis says that brightness is key. A lot of women running in the dark. It's really important to always be sure you have light and 3 to 60 degree uh, reflectivity. Experts say that if you're attacked while running, it's important to identify your attacker if possible. Always have eye contact because if they see you see, looking at them, they know that you can identify them. Carrying mace, portable sirens, and not listening to music while running are all other ways to protect yourself. In Roanoke, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.